Well, we'll begin with the oil and gas sector because Energy Minister Dr. Matthew Pukupembe has laid on the floor of Parliament a request which, when approved, will allow the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation to purchase 37% stake in Aka Energy's oil block and 70% stake in AGM Petroleum's oil block. Now, additionally, the Energy Minister has separately asked for the mandate of Parliament to go and negotiate what the purchase price for the stakes will be. Joining me is Parliamentary Correspondent Joseph Opoku-Gakwe. So tell us a bit, Joseph, about the request the Energy Minister is placing before Parliament. of these requests that he's come to parliament asking the uh, necessary approval for um first of all he is asking that as far as a plan that the ghana national petroleum corporation has through its subsidiary the uh, gnpc exploco they are planning a deal to take over about 37 percent of the interest that um uh, um Eka energy mm. has in the deep water tunnel keep three points uh, gmps wants to take over 37 percent of that stake apart from that um agm petroleum their oil stake in the south deep water tunnel area gmps wants to take over 70 percent of that so he's laid a paper in parliament requesting for the necessary approval in order for gnpc exploco which is actually a subsidiary of gnpc that's supposed to be working towards helping the nation explore oil is concerned. So that's the first request he's asking for. He's also indicated that when the necessary processes are done, GNPC, Exploco, ECA, and AGM will be setting up a joint operating company or be directly involved in the processes to drill oil so that then that uh, Exploco firm has more stake in those specific deals. So he's requested for approval to establish that joint venture between GNPC Exploco as well as ACA and then AGM Petroleum. Mm. And then these are the two other things that he's asking for. They haven't yet negotiated how much it will cost GNPC Exploco to actually acquire the set 70% stake in the AGM block. And they haven't negotiated the figure yet on how much it would cost GNPC Exploco to actually um, pay for the said block when it comes to um, ACAP Petroleum, the 37% stake. So he's requested the mandate of parliament so that then government can negotiate the purchase price for the, those particular blocks. That's the third request that he laid before parliament. And then finally, um, the finance minister separately laid before parliament a request for a loan facility not exceeding 1.65 billion Ghana cities, which would eventually go to Exploco in order for them to meet its payment obligations on the said acquisitions. And um, out of that, about 1.3 billion is an amount that's supposed to go into the ACA AGM deal. And then another amount of $350 million is expected to go into expenditure when it comes to what is described as uh, first oil for the development of the Pecan phase one field. So, those are the four requests that went to right. uh, uh, the various committees earlier today. And the Speaker of Parliament, um, Alban Bagwin, has referred the request to the Joint Energy and Finance Committees. Um, but the minority leader seems to have issues. What's he been saying? Uh, specifically, when it comes to the uh, specific energy agreement minus the loan facility, the said documents were referred to the Mines and Energy Committee. And the minority leader made the point that it's not enough to just ask the Mines and Energy Committee to look into this. He felt that these are very important issues that um, the Mines and Energy Committee should look into, but then they should do it in conjunction with the Finance Committee of Parliament. And eventually the Speaker granted that request so that then those three separate agreements are going to the Joint Committee on Mines and uh, Energy as well as Finance. And mm -hmm. then the issue having to do with the loan agreement is going specifically to the Finance Committee. Okay. So uh the concern was eventually resolved because mm. then the referral was to both committees. But former Prime Minister, Dr. Kwamna Donko, um, has also been speaking about this. What's he been saying? He has concerns about the whole plan in order to allow for uh, GNPCS local to get involved in these said uh, wells with ECA and AGM. Mm. First of all, he makes the point that they on the minority side had insistently asked government to ensure, even when these agreements were being reached initially, that um, Exploco had a stake in it. The government ignored that advice and then allowed for 
these uh, uh, drilling to then begin and so about three or four years down the line it's now that higher amounts are now going to be sunk in getting some of these mm. um uh, wells which he thought was a bit worrying apart from that he makes the point that um per the plan as the the details that are coming money will be raised additionally from the heritage fund which will then involve amendment to the petroleum revenue management act in order to pay for this because the 1.65 billion would not cover for all these investments that needed to be made and he thinks that it's uh, out of place to a certain extent that the heritage fund which is for future generations will be touched in order to then make this investment in these all worlds joseph opoku gafo grateful for your report uh tonight here on business live that was our parliamentary correspondent joseph opoku gafo